sets that are kind of organized around the different colors, whether it's, um, uh, you know, two color combinations or three color combinations. I really like Knee Cabana. It's been a really long time since a shard set and the set is really cool. Didn't play with the cards yet, but Knife seems really good. Yeah. I like Kamigawa better, how you could does it. Kamigawa was good too. I think that my take and Dana's take and take of most people we know is that uh, the Innistrad ones, Crimson Vow and Midnight Hunt were uh, not as excited as some of them. Gentle Vader says, loves this, love the sealed in Kapenna, but truly enjoyed Neon better on draft. Okay, that's a fair perspective and I've done more sealed on it. And Dang and Dangerous says, I've heard that color pairs are better than most of the families, but that Brokers and or Cabaretti are definitely monsters for families, yeah. Yeah, it seems to be oriented a lot around the uh, allied color pairs. That is true. Oh, I think I hear Dana coming back in. Dana? Yeah? Did you get it? Uh, mom's checking. Uh huh. And Floated says Kamigawa was like they took magic, then put on a completely new flavor on it. And a lot of the cards were mechanically very cool. Yeah. Uh, doesn't seem like it's arrived. Oh, well. Dana will have to wait one more day. Dana, you have to wait at least another day. Rafine with unblockable fishes is gross. Oh, that is true. Oh. Dana, not here? No. Dana does really well waiting for things. No, I really do. Mm -hmm. what, what one? Sealed. Okay. People, we were talking about formats and people tend to uh, think sealed is awesome for this. Draft, less clear if it's, you know, a super good draft format, but definitely it's a really good sealed format. Ooh, ooh! Oh, okay. Um, five color? Or at least four color? Hmm. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what else you get, right? Cause this and this are also good. Damn. Which are good, you're saying? This and this and this. This goes well with this, maybe. Possibly. Yeah. Well, hold on. You could go Cabaretti. I could. Right? This isn't directly burgers. No, it's not. Cab. I get it. The valet is medium, Joe K says. Yeah, the valet isn't as good as those others. That, that I agree with. Facebreaker is really good. I wouldn't classify the backup agent as amazing. Oh, they're way. good. I mean, if you're playing white, I think the question is, is it a reason to play white or is it just something you kind of play when you have that stuff? I think it's I, I just to put play. things that are good to play. I don't put it like, is that a reason to play? Oh, I thought it's sort of like things that are like, they might be rated a three or above as an example or something like that. I think this is a three or above. You do? Okay, maybe it's, maybe, you know what? I'm going to check. Okay. Um... I could be wrong. It's happened before, it'll happen again. Yep. I see you're agreeing very readily, Dana. Mm-hmm. It is not. It's a tail. Yes. Well, but again, that's just one opinion, right? Florida says, also, I don't know if I complained here about the card that only sent my card, uh, a card show that only sent my cards after like a week after the order. Oh, oh, the card shop. Uh, oh, by the way, for Dana's um, commander deck, Rin and Siri commander deck, we're looking to trade in some cards and get some cards for it. Um, and I was looking around at like the best place to kind of uh, trade cards into for credit and then get cards from. Um, and I don't know like what all your experiences are because I know like a lot of the places like do it. Um, and if any of you have some, uh, you know, good stuff. I'm obviously Channel Fireball does it. Um, but I don't know if that's like, I know they moved to the marketplace thing. I don't know how things work there, but I think it still works well, right? Yeah. Never actually done it before. I don't know how the interface is or if people have tips on that. Um, I've only done it like physically trading in cards as opposed to sending stuff in.
Flood said the first two interactions I had with them asking if something was off for the delay, they just didn't say anything. Then on Friday, the dude explained the whole thing for me. There was a card on the wrong language. If only they asked me on the first day after the order. Oh. Thing James says, Adam, don't admit to being wrong in front of Dana. She can't know that. Mm -hmm. Flood said, ended up buying like 200 more bucks on top of the already pricey order. Ugh. Joe Case is small amount, but good quality red. What's Dana looking for? Because I'm willing to trade her. I don't like trading stuff into Channel Fireball. Oh, uh, you know, we don't know for sure yet, Haiku Dove. But yeah, maybe we'll, uh, we'll let you know. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to go five color. Really? I have a lot of good fixing. How much? Oh, you have four of the lands. Oh, wow, wow, you have a lot of lands. I have a lot of lands. And Seven? I have the mass bandits. Multi-lands? Yep. And I also have mass bandits. Okay. And I just wouldn't play these, that's for sure. So you have 18, or no, sorry, not 18, eight pieces of fixing open. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait. nine. Nine, your Spartan's Adjudicators is one, two, uh, right? Ten. Ten pieces of fixing. That could be five color. Yay. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Because I have, like, good Maestro's things, and then I also have some good Broker's things. I don't think these are that great. No, I agree. I was just thinking that, actually. And like I think black and that. blue are my splash colors. Okay, I can see that. Um, I mean, for Dang, the most part, at yeah. least. Dang and Dame says, Card Kingdom is my favorite online retailer. My LGS is my favorite LGS. I've not read a website that can do justice when it comes to searching and browsing for cards. And Dang and Dame says, Card Kingdom probably does it best, but that says exactly nothing. Flodet said, when I traded my cards for credits, I used my LGSs because they usually paid more. Ah, uh, yeah, RGSs aren't really that super big on it. I guess we could ask and stuff like that. There is one that kind of does that pretty well, but sometimes you don't have the stuff you want to get to. Um, Joe Case says, what format are you playing at the Dallas event? You know, I don't know if there's details about what events there are. Um, Joe Case, there's going to be a lot of Commander Legends Baldur's Gate because it's pre-release weekend for that. So I'm pretty sure they'll have a lot of that. I'm sure they'll have, they'll have a bunch of like Capenna stuff. There is going to be a $10,000 open. I don't know what the format's going to be. I don't know if they've announced that yet. So um, I think we're kind of waiting to see more. Well, that's it. We don't have really big game stores here. I think the second biggest in the country is in my city, but they pay dirt cheap for cards and are pricey. Haiku Death says Card Kingdom also tends to charge higher prices on cards. Ah, higher than, 